Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Nick the Frog video, where today we are going to be making a kill system, or a kill streak system, kills slash kill streak system, something like that. But as you can see in this script here, this is the script we are going to be writing out. I will show you guys how to write this out. This is a data store script, which if you kill someone, you'll all get a kill. If you die, then you'll get all your kills reset. And you can see it's only 42 lines. That's not bad for a whole entire kill system. And it requires only one script. So let's get right into it. To begin, first insert a script inside of server script service. Because I'm in my like scripting testing world thing here, I'm just going to insert into this folder here. But anywhere inside of the server script service. And how you reach server script service. Open the explorer from like the view tab here. Explorer. And come and server script service is right here. Then just click the plus and insert a script. So I'm going to insert it right here inside of the kill streak for me. And you can rename the script to whatever you want. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna await oh wrong script. Kills, and then I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna rename mine to cut kills system. You can rename it to whatever you want, and then remove print hello world. You wanna first start with local DSS for data store service equals to game colon get service get not get children, get service, data, store, service. Then you want to say colon get data store, not ordered, get data store. And then this is where you can come up with what you want your data store to be named. Named, I'm just going to kill, or kill, I'm just going to name mine kills. <laughs> And the next thing you want to do is come down two lines and do game.players.player added colon connect function player. What we're doing right here is we're just hooking into the player function here so we can get our player argument and we can find when a player joins the game. So we're going to do we're going to do local key which this is going to be the unique identifier for each player. So we're going to say player.user ID. And the reason we are using the user ID instead of the username is because the user ID is more secure. Basically, if they change their username, you know, then all their data will get reset. So this is what I'm going to use for mine. You can just use their user ID if you want, or you can do really anything here. But make sure that this stays as your key because if this changes, then, you know, your whole data store will pretty much get reset. Well, not the whole data store, but for that person. Then we're also going to say local data, but we're not going to give it a value. We're just going to leave local data. Now we're going to say pcall function, which basically we're calling a function of a pcall. What a pcall is, is basically you're testing something, or you're basically running a function, but if the function errors at any time, then it will not break the entire script. So we're going to say, data, colon, get, or data equals dss, colon, get, not set, get, a sync P and then we're gonna do if or no that's all we want to do right there data equals data or BSS con get a sync key it's basically we're getting the players like I guess we're getting their data and then we're gonna say if data then, 
So if we have data, then we are going to get their kills value, which I forgot to make, so we'll make our kills value. So local ls, so leader stats equals instance dot new and folder comma player and then ls dot name equals make sure it's lowercase or this will not work leader stats and then we can say local kills equals instance dot new number value comma ls kills dot name equals kills and then in this if data then we're gonna do kills dot value equals the data square bracket one. And then we're going to say else kills dot value equals zero. And that is our data one now. So now we're going to make the thing that basically allows us to track when a player dies and give the player a kill. So what we're going to do is player dot character added on connect function star star dot humanoid dot died colon connect function leave that function blank now we're going to say local creator equals to character dot humanoid humanoid colon find first child creator Local, or no, we say if creator and creator dot value, then local create, or we can say local PLR killed equals creator dot value then local kills value equals to player killed dot leader stats dot kills now we can say kills dot value equals kills dot value plus one. So that will give us one kill and what we're gonna do, or that will give the player here, I don't know why I did kills, we wanna change this to kills value. And you just wanna add, if you want the player to have their kills reset, then do what I'm doing here. If you don't, then just leave the script how it is. So what we are going to do is we're going to say kills dot value equals zero, which is just going to completely reset their, their kills, the current player's kills, because they died. And now if we actually test this, this should work. After we add, I forgot to add, we're going to add the play, or let's add the game dot players dot player removing on connect function player 
local key equals player dot user ID. Make sure the I is capital. Dot dot. And then we can do dash kills, which is what mine is. And then we can say DSS colon set async. The comma table. We can say player dot leader stats dot kills dot value. And that is our whole entire script done. See, if I kill this person right here, you can see I get one kill. And if I wait for them to respawn and kill them again, you can see now I have two kills. And if I wait again, kill them when they respawn, I have three kills. And now if I come over here, go on the second account here, and kill me, as you can see, my kills get reset. So this is the kill system. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to join my Discord server if you need help with this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We just hit 200 subs. This is not the 200 sub special, but that will be coming soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone!